Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another kind of Kardashian Jenner inspired look. So this one is Kourtney Kardashian, if you can't already tell. So this is the photo shoot that she did. Um, I'm pretty sure she was wearing Yeezy. And she was wearing the Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K matte liquid lipstick so that's what I've actually used today as well. I'm really 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 excited about this look. I honestly think it's one of my favorites that I have done. I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I now have 600 which is crazy for me. Like I I don't know it's just crazy. I cannot imagine 600 of you actually watching me. That's ridiculous but thank you so much and I love you all and you guys are amazing so thank you so much guys for subscribing and if you are new please subscribe as well because as I said it just means so much to me seeing like it grow it's just crazy let's get straight into it all right guys so i'm starting off with my brow so i'm taking my anastasia beverly hills brow wiz in the color granite and i'm just filling in my brows i tried to really make them kind of arched but at the same time rounded um because courtney's were not extremely arched they're kind of long and rounded so that's kind of what i was going for <laughs> So I already did my foundation off screen and now I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Pressed Powder in the colour 310 Sun Beige just to set my eyes. What we're going to do first is take a transition shade. I'm using Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette um, and I'm just applying this just above my crease. Make sure you're using a fluffy blending brush and have a really light hand. Then you're going to want to take any light colour for a brow highlight. I'm taking Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just applying this under my brow bone really lightly. All the Kardashians do this so you kind of need this when you're doing a Kardashian look. Now to get that dramatic brown smoky eye, I'm taking Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I'm going to apply this lightly onto my lid. You then want to blend it out slightly onto your transition colour just to darken it a bit. I'm then taking Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to dab this onto my eyelid, focusing more onto the actual lid part and this is going to make that dramatic smoky effect. You really want to blend this out to make it really smoky, so just keep blending it and applying it and blending it and applying it. bring back that warmth and to really create depth, I'm taking Semi Sweet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette again and I'm just going to reapply that in my crease. Courtney's look is really dark so I'm then taking this kind of greyish charcoal black colour from the Morphe 35N palette and I'm just going to apply this in like my outer V really really lightly with a light hand and I'm just going to keep applying this and blending this and also blending it on my lash line just to create more depth and to make the look darker. I'm then going back in with Burnt Orange and I'm just going to apply this over my crease again just to blend it out and make it more smoky and less harsh. To get rid of any fallout and brighten up the under eyes, I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes in an upside down triangle um, and then on my forehead, down my nose and also just under my contour a bit and on my chin. Personally for me, I feel like concealers tend to make my under eye area a little bit greyish. So I like to use a banana shade to kind of neutralise that. This one's from the Models Prefer Contour Palette and I'm just applying this under my eyes. Now I'm taking cinnamon from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the medium um, shade palette. And I'm just going to add some warmth and definition back into my face. <laughs> I'm then taking a bronzer, so I'm using the MAC Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and I'm just going to apply this um, to my cheeks and in all the places that I applied the cream contour. 
Now Courtney's face is really contoured and sculpted so I'm just taking chocolate from the cream contour kit and applying this kind of in the hollows of my cheeks to really carve them out and make my cheekbones look more prominent. Courtney's cheeks still had some colour to them so I'm taking my NYX Baked Blush in the colour BBL11 Chiffon and I'm just going to apply this just above the contour and in that same shape. To really deepen that contour I'm going to go in with a darker kind of um, cooler toned brown. This is the number 3 colour on the Astralis Take Me On Tour contouring and highlighting kit and I'm just going under the contour and on my nose and stuff as well. So Courtney's waterline was nude, so I'm taking this Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof Coal um, in 005 Nude and I'm just applying this along my waterline. For the bottom lash line, I'm starting off with Burnt Orange and I'm just going to apply this with like a small kind of bullet brush just along the lash line. And then I'm taking Cypress Umber, so you can take any dark brown colour, and I'm just again applying this closer to the lash line and just smoking it out a bit. <laughs> For the eyelashes, I'm just going to curl mine first and then I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Everything Mascara. This is amazing. So I'm using this just to curl my lashes and then I'm going to apply falsies. Now for that intense gold highlight that all the Kardashians are known for. I'm taking this Astralis Highlights in Gold and I'm just lightly dabbing this along the high points of my cheekbones just above my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose and just above the cupid's bow. Now for the main part, I'm taking my Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in True Brown K. So this is actually the lipstick that um, Courtney was wearing in those photos um, and I'm just lining my lips with the lip liner and then filling it in with the matte liquid lipstick. Finishing touches, I'm just taking my MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Soft and Gentle and just lightly um, brushing this over the areas that I previously highlighted just for a nice little shimmer. And that's it guys, that's the finished look. I did want to really get the look down so I decided to put in my clip-in hair extensions as well. These are Zala hair extensions in dark chocolate brown and they are 20 inch in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> 